Let's get the Weather Authority forecast now. A brand new week, a brand new year. And a brand new me. Is it really? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Let's see if I follow through with my New Year's resolutions. Oh, it can be tough. It can be tough. Do you have any resolutions yourself? No, I stopped that years ago. Oh, no. Years ago. Well, why? Did you just not follow through with yours? Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm <laughs> pathetic in that regard. <laughs> well, hopefully you guys have your own resolutions and do follow through with it. Mother Nature has a plan of its own. Um, this first week of the New Year looking like a pretty soggy one, but we do get one nice thing. Some warm temperatures in central New York, but there's going to be a large temperature difference across the state with some very cold air in northern New York and some very warm air in southern New York and a really large difference from the 30s to even the 50s, maybe even close to 60 in some parts of the state. But everyone is going to get a huge cool down by the end of the week behind this strong system that looks to bring us that rain over the next couple of days. We are still dry this evening, though. A live look from our triple Doppler radar sponsored by Falso Service Experts. Mostly cloudy skies, dry for the rest of this evening, and even a good chunk of tonight. Just the chance to see a spotty sprinkle in the overnight. But that real chance for rain arrives tomorrow morning for that commute, becoming a steady widespread rain as this system gets closer. And there's going to be a large temperature difference because this stationary front is going to park itself right over Syracuse. So there will be some colder air to the north of Syracuse in the 30s, but south of Syracuse in the 50s, even closer to 60 because of that front. But eventually, as this system works its way through over the next couple of days, we'll get this cold front, which is going to bring us that huge cool down for the end of the week. And you can see the difference in the temperatures even right now, sitting in the 20s and 30s up in Canada, 40s in Syracuse, but notice 50s, 60s, even 70s further south. So here's what we know. There's going to be widespread rain tomorrow and Wednesday with some heavy pockets, a large temperature variation, cold up north, warm to the south, and then some light snow after Thursday through Saturday. What still may change is the storm track and speed, the exact rainfall and snowfall totals because of the, the path of that system, and the exact temperatures by location because of that stationary front. Now let's time this out with your future cast starting with this evening. Temperatures right now sitting around 40 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. Tonight dropping down into the lower 30s. Some scattered light rain showers arrive for that morning commute, but become a steadier rain midday with some moderate to heavy pockets at times. And temperatures are going to vary. 30s up north, but 50s down south. So it all depends on where you live, what you'll get tomorrow. As we head into Wednesday, same thing. Still going to see those scattered showers. Then we get a wave of some steadier rain midday and that large temperature difference still 30s up north, 50s down south through the day on Wednesday. Then after Wednesday, we could see some scattered showers on the back end of this system heading into Thursday and Friday. As far as rainfall totals go, we're looking around a half an inch to an inch for most places with around an inch to an inch and a half for some other spots, depending who gets those heavy pockets of rainfall. So to sum up your seven day forecast, soggy weather the next couple of days, a large temperature variation across the state, warm to the south, cold to the north. Then we get some scattered snow showers Thursday, Friday and Saturday, looking at a light snowfall accumulation before drying out for the second half of the weekend and really cooling down 30s during the day, teens at night. Michael. Thank you, Violet.